Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Remnant from the Ashes. So first of all, we're going to make sure that we're going to optimize your windows. So the first thing that you need to do is write game mode in your search bar. Click on the game mode settings. Make sure that game mode is at off. Also make sure that you put your game bar at off. And make sure also all those capture stuff should be at off. Recorded audio, background recording and stuff like that. You don't want to use that. The other thing that uh, I'm using is the Intelligence Standby List Cleaner. Uh, this software makes sure that it's purging your uh, standby list automatically. Uh, I had a couple of issues with uh, games like Battlefield, The Division, a lot of stuttering. And now when I'm using this, uh, it resolve all my issue honestly so if you have less than 60 gig of ram you should download this and it will help you a lot i will put the link of the software in my uh, video description don't worry it's not a virus it's the same guy who did the, the software ddu uh, that a lot of people are using to uninstall a gpu's driver so download this for sure so now we will go inside of the game to show you what kind of setting that you need to use and after that we will go in the config file uh, we have a couple other options that we need to disable. So let's go inside of the game. So now the graphic parameter. First of all, make sure that your display mode is at full screen. By default, me was a uh, window, uh, window full screen. Uh, so when you switch it to full screen, you should gain 2% of FPS. So kind of important. Resolution, it will depend. Just play normally uh, the, with the resolution that you normally use. If after all the change you still don't get your 60 FPS, uh, you should definitely lower your resolution. Brightness, we don't care. Motion blur, you will not gain FPS, but I really don't like this effect in video games, so I just remove it. Vertical sync, I'm disable it. Um, something is weird with the vertical sync in this game because when I put 60, I'm getting 144 hertz, and when I put 30, I'm getting 72 hertz. So a bit weird, but anyway, I'll wait. I don't use vertical sync in video games, so I just disable it. Shadow distance, this one is really important. Put this one at zero, you should gain a nice boost, five to six percent. And the shadow quality, same thing. Put this one at low, you should get three percent for each bracket. So a nice, another nice eight percent of your FPS, FPS should increase. Anti-aliasing and play at medium. Uh, why medium? Because um, you will see that at low, your image quality is very uh, poor. And the difference between low and medium, it's not big for the performance. You will lose like 2 FPS if you, put, uh, if you put it at medium. So medium is a good spot in this game because I, you will lose a lot of FPS. So you should definitely put your anti-aliasing at medium. View distance is really important. It's huge impact on your resources. So me, I'm playing medium because I want to see in front of me. And I and Ultra is, is taking a lot of resources, so I feel like medium is a good spot. But for sure, if you have an integrated video card or an old computer, probably you should uh, play the game at low. Texture quality is depending on your VRAM, on your video card. So for me, it's not a, an issue. I'm putting Ultra. But uh, if you have 4 gig and more, put Ultra. 3 gig I, 2 gig uh, medium, and less than 2 gig go with low. Post-processing, this one I'm putting at medium. Uh, again, it's a bit like anti-aliasing. It's a sweet spot. Uh, you will lose like 3% if you go to high. And when you go at low, you don't lose too much FPS and you're getting a nice uh, increase in your image quality at medium. So that's why I'm using medium. Effect quality will more uh, impact when you're fighting in this game. So if you have a huge drop in your FPS, definitely lower your effect quality and even put this one at low if you're still uh, getting a lot of drops. Foliage quality, really important. It's like shadow. It's really impactful on your resources. Uh, when I go ultra to low, I'm getting like 8 to 9% boost in my FPS. So really important for this one. Maximum frame per second, I'm putting zero. So it's uncapped. I want to make sure that I'm seeing the max FPS that I can get. And the final one is minimize input latency. It's at on. Even if they're saying it's cost a small performance loss, I didn't see any like sometimes one FPS. So it's not a huge thing. So I still, I, I'm, I still put this one at off. So now let's go in the config file. So now the config file. So first of all, make sure that you're going in your C drive users the name of your computer app data local remnant 
save config and Windows No Editor. After that, make sure that you're opening the game user setting. So the first thing that you need to make sure is all the game setting that you change are here. So shadow quality, distance, etc. So even if you see here that your VSync is supposed to be at true, it's not really true. It's here. The VSync should be at zero. The only thing that I want to show you here is the uh, use HDR display output. Make sure this one is at off, uh, but not off false. Uh, because uh, sometimes by default in those games, I had uh, this issue with No Man's Sky. It was at true and I was losing 30 FPS because of that. So really important to look at this and make sure it's at false. And after that, you can change uh, definitely your, your uh, setting here. But uh, it will not really help you because it's pretty much the same thing inside of the game. So if you have any questions, guys, just come in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!